they, they just... took my passport, but they didn't. They didn't oh, say I was like under arrest. Oh, this is like in the arrest. airport or something? Or? No, no. This was after I'd been there a couple of days. Okay. And, and uh, they got word that I was at the hospital, passed out tracks and sharing okay. Jesus with nurses and stuff. And and uh, we'd been to the university, and they we got run off of that place. So um, just what? those kind of things. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, and, tell, tell us, uh, mm-hmm. tell us, you got a trip. You've been a couple of times before before uh, as you just mentioned you got a trip coming up but but it, you know the, those you did get uh, harassed by the by the police but but you were able to do some things uh last time we we have uh tim we've been back several several times since that those early years and um and they haven't uh, harassed me i don't know whether it's because they can't find me or whether <laughs> they just gave up on the fact that i don't have any money or what but they thought i was rich Oh, so you could pay, well, the bribery the payola. Is a, yeah. bribery is the way of the world. Yeah. And, and so. so when they found out I was broke, uh, they yeah. wanted to know how much, min- how much money my ministry had in that during that interrogation. I said, I don't know, but last time I checked, they had $30 <laughs> and made a <them> man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any money to bribe us here? I didn't have Get any money to bribe, here. so... Yeah. They, uh, but anyway, we've been back several times since then. And, Without and any we, problem. Uh, no problems. Yeah. Um, but we, we're involved with a group, and I, I, I hesitate to mention the name because... That's all right. You don't have to. It's not Here. really a, a legal uh, gathering, um, but they're doing it legally, if you will. Uh, they're renting a, a facility from a church, uh, so the church is legally renting that place. And and uh, just got an email a few weeks ago. Communications are terrible. Uh, the only way I can really communicate is email. Sometimes it's two or three weeks before I ever get a response. Um, 90 miles from the Florida miles. coast. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole different world. world. It's a whole mm. different world. And uh, and I got an email from uh, the the leader uh, that I've been working with for the past several years. matter of fact, in 2010, y'all uh, were gracious enough to allow us to share about this retreat in 2010 and trying to raise funds to pay for these students' retreat. The college, or, uh, uh, co- university students. Okay, you, what what you got? What you had going on there? I want to. You had university students, and you guys were working with the local pastors there, right? And you were you were raising money to bring these students in for a week of camp for a week to learn the Bible, weekend, right? right? For a weekend, a, a Bible based Christian retreat. And they didn't have the money. These kids don't have the money. It's a very poor country. And you were raising money from our listeners. Yes. To uh, scholarship, if you will, these, these, That's this, exactly this, what this, it was. this whole weekend. And uh, <clears throat> our listeners responded pretty well. Didn't I, they? I'm telling you, Tim, uh, mm-hmm. you, you, you precious people responded with over $8,000. And I get choked up. Uh, <clears throat> when uh, just, just a few minutes uh, on this program, we shared about the need in Cuba. And you responded with a little over $8,000. And we took that over there and paid for several hundred kids. Uh, matter of fact, I think it was $18. That's what it is today. And that's what reason that uh, I'm, I'm here today. I got an email that they could have 800 students from all over the island to gather at this place for four days, uh, March the 15th through the, 20, uh, through the uh, 18th. Excuse me, through the 18th. For a, a retreat, including transportation, food, lodging, uh, for eighteen dollars a person. Wow! So we're looking at raising fourteen thousand uh, dollars. That takes my breath. That that kind of money. If it's fourteen hundred, I could say, well, I could probably do that. But fourteen thousand is uh, it's a god thing. It's way beyond whatever I could do. And so uh, we're we're asking uh, people to pray and uh, and and. Support this retreat, eighteen dollars a person. At, and, and listen, I was there two years ago. There was a group of students drove fourteen hours in the back of about a nineteen forties, would call a cattle truck, had some benches in it. Forty students drove fourteen hours in the back of that truck to attend this retreat that many of you helped sponsor uh, in twenty ten. So I want you to know that these kids are hungry. These kids are hungry, and and if they'll if they'll get in the back of an old cattle truck and ride for fourteen hours, then you know they're serious about hearing truth, and so we're asking you if you would uh, to help sponsor some kids for this retreat uh, for a total of about fourteen thousand dollars. And again, this this pays for the transportation, the food, the lodging, 
and the food will be probably rice and beans one night and beans and rice the next <laughs> night. Just mix them up. But so, so this is what do people need? If people are listening right now and they're burdened, uh, like hearing you talk about this and they want to help like they did last time with the gift mm-hmm. donation of any size, uh, to help this, to pay for this, uh, what, what do they need to do? If they'll just uh, send a check and make it to Faith Ministries, Faith Ministries, and we are a 501c tax-deductible organization, send it to Faith Ministries and just put on the memo, Cuba, and every dime goes to that retreat. There's no administrative costs. There's no every dime go will go to pay for those students' uh, trip uh, and Good their team. lodging and, and um, their food and whatever transportation they have to have to get there. And they're coming from all over the island, all over the country, gathering together. I, I told the leaders in, in that last email, I hadn't heard from them You since. didn't give the address. Yeah. Uh, you were said, said write the check to Faith Ministries. Faith and Ministries. Then do, uh, and then do what? Pray about what address to send it to? <laughs> pray about what address. But <laughs> okay. um, let me give you the answer to that okay. prayer already. All right. <laughs> it's uh, Faith Ministries. Uh, 1634 North Veterans Boulevard. Better repeat that. Slowly. 1634 North Veterans Boulevard, Tupelo 38804. That's, and two, you, that's <clears throat> Tupelo, Mississippi. T U P E L O, Mississippi's M S. And then what's the zip? 38804. Okay. And um, if you don't get that address, let me give you a phone number. I'll be at, I'll be at my phone at my office uh, from about one uh, thirty till about three or four o'clock today. And if you want to just call, if you've got any questions, I'll be happy to try to answer those questions. If you want to to reaffirm the address, you give me a call six six two eight four two five zero six zero, and we'll respond and answer any question that you have for us. Give me a phone number again six six two. Eight four two five zero six zero. Bob McHouston's, who we're talking to here from Faith Ministries in Tupelo, Mississippi, talking about going back to Cuba in March, and to have another year with these kids, college students from around the country, coming together for a weekend of Bible training and uh, Bible teaching, and uh, they look forward to this. Those kids do, and they come and they sacrifice. Mm. But we need to help them uh, because they're a very poor country, and that's what Bob's raising money to do. Last time raised Mm $8,000 from our listeners. And do you have an email address, Bob, you want to give, or you want to stick with the phone number? Um, It's my wife just set up a new email email? address, but just bobmchouston at yahoo.com. Okay, spell it out. Back Houston. MCC. Bob, I got. You got Bob. You got <laughs> yeah. to spell that backwards. M-C-C-U-S-T-I-O-N at yahoo.com. And the phone number one more time? 662-842-5060. And if you want to call anytime after uh, 1, between 1 and 3, one thirty and 3 or 4. Central, central time. Central yeah. time. You give me a call. If you call and machine answers, if you'll leave your number, I will return your call. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, y'all. let us know uh, when you get back how it goes. I sure will. Okay. I appreciate you. How many doing students it. will be there approximately? 800. I told him, I said, look, I don't have any money uh, and I don't have any uh, uh, any funds, but just go ahead and invite the 800 students. We'll trust God to pay for it. Mm. Amen. All right, Bob. Thank you so much. Bob McHouston, a uh, longtime friend of ours here. And he's going back to Cuba again, been doing a lot of ministry work. And that's work a wonderful country to try to sow into the kingdom. There's going to be a new Cuba one day. Yeah. There is. There's going to be a new Cuba one day. Castro's going to die. And, uh, I, you know, and I just, I just really believe that. You're listening to the radio program, Today's Issues, on the American Family Radio Network. I'm Tim Wildman uh, with Ed Vitagliano. We want to go now to our – we just got – Good friends all around here today, people, uh, because Bob Knight, we got 